Tensions continue to rise at the Russia-Ukraine border as Russian troops have continued movement into Ukraine. Here with the latest on these tensions and what could happen next is Citrus TV reporter Ronnie Perillo. Ronnie. Mariah and Louise, and Louise, thank you. Well, this has been an evolving situation for the past several weeks. Russian President Vladimir Putin continues to be upset over Ukraine's relationship with NATO countries and has now taken drastic action. Just hours ago, President Putin, in a televised speech, recognized the independence of two Russia-backed breakaway regions in eastern Ukraine. Now, this significantly raises the likelihood of a Russian invasion into Ukraine as more troops have amassed at the border and shellings have continued. Putin just minutes ago announced that he is stationing Russian, quote, peacekeepers at the border. This as fears of a full war are now on the table. Following Putin's speech, the United States and European Union both moved to impose sanctions, something Ukrainian pres uh, President Vladimir Zelensky has been asking for for several days now. Zelensky also spoke with President Biden following Putin's speech today, he is expected to call British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in the coming hours. Now, today, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki announced that Biden will soon sign an executive order that prohibits U.S. investment and trade in Ukrainian breakaway regions. Psaki said that if Russia were to further invade, there would be more sanctions to follow from the NATO countries. And also in his speech today, Putin said that Ukraine is, quote, not just a neighboring country, but part of Russian culture. European Union leaders quickly expressed their disappointment in his recognition of the Russia-backed regions. Now, the U.S. is continuing to order the evacuation of all Americans from Ukraine, despite commercial flights being difficult to board right now. There are also concerns about how a Russian invasion in Ukraine could affect the energy industry around the world. Now, this is a rapidly evolving situation, so be sure to stay with us here on Citrus TV News and follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter for the latest. Back to you guys.